President Biden's new policy on immigration at the border is sparking a lot of reaction on Capitol Hill and beyond. His executive action will allow the government to ban some migrants who cross the border illegally from seeking asylum. The president is facing criticism from both parties. President Biden issued an executive order barring asylum when daily migrant apprehensions at the U.S. southern border hit a seven-day average of 2,500, a move that could result in the deportation of some migrants in a matter of days, even hours. They choose to come without permission and against the law. They'll be restricted from receiving asylum and staying in the United States. Some members of Congress showed their support. This is going to help us secure the border. Biden appearing to take a page from former President Donald Trump's hardline immigration playbook. Trump tried implementing a similar policy in 2018. The ACLU led the challenge that caused courts to strike it down and says it plans to sue the Biden administration, too. Administration officials defended the executive order, saying it includes humanitarian exceptions for unaccompanied migrant children, for some medical emergencies, and for victims of severe human trafficking. The timing of the announcement raising eyebrows among advocates like Sister Norma Pimentel because migrant apprehensions at the southern border have plummeted. I would think it's because of the fact that we're having an election very soon, and if he doesn't show a different optic picture, then they have, they're losing. The apparent White House strategy now is to point fingers at Republicans who failed to support the Senate's bipartisan border bill. But some Republicans fired right back, saying it's too little, too late. Joining us now with more Catholic reaction to President Biden's new border policy is the national correspondent for the tablet and crux, John Lavenberg. Hi, John. Hi, Christine. So, John, what are Catholic leaders saying about this new border policy? Yeah, so I spoke to a number of Catholic leaders yesterday, and some of the words and phrases they used were dangerous, deeply disturbed, and that the policies will have serious human consequences. And their chief argument is that while the country, yes, has a right to protect and secure its border, they say that it cannot come at the expense of the humanitarian safety of those who are fleeing their countries. All right, but some believe a policy like this is needed to prevent drug smugglers, violent uh, gangs, and human traffickers from entering the country, right? Absolutely. And the Catholic leader, specifically Bishop Mark Seitz, the head of the um, U.S. Bishops Migration Committee, he agrees with that. But he also counters that by forcing these migrants back across the border. They're actually emboldening and empowering these same people they're trying to protect against by forcing the migrants into their arms and into the dangerous situations yet again. Wow. So will this change in policy affect the work that the church does at the border? That's actually the most consistent thing I heard from Catholic leaders. They say that despite these policies, despite these actions, their work is going to continue. They, while they weigh in on political matters, they don't act in, on political matters in the sense that they're focused on the people in front of them, serving the migrants that come to the border and are seeking help. So that work will not change, um, and they'll continue, of course, collaboration with local and federal authorities as best they can to carry out that mission. All right, John Lavenberg, National Correspondent for the Tablet and Crux. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, Christine. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.